What's up guys and uh, welcome back. So today's video is going to be about high school in New Zealand. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because um, I've like, I don't know, I'm just curious about how schools work in other countries. So yeah, this is just about high school in New Zealand. So starting off with the basics, um, high school here isn't actually called high school. Like if you say high school, people will know what you mean. But for the most part, it's referred to, um, secondary school is referred to as college. So yeah, and then where you go after to get a degree is called university. So I know that's different like to America and stuff. But yeah, so high school is years 9 to 13. So usually you'll start when you're about 12 to 13 and then you finish or you graduate when you're six, 17 or 18. Um, and yeah, so it's five years long. Uh, school here isn't actually compulsory um, after you're 16. So a lot of people don't do the last year of school and they leave like after year 12 but um for the most part people do stay the whole five years um and yeah so in regards to uniform yes schools here do have uniform um with the exception that like some schools in year 13 or your last year of school you can wear mufti which is basically just like home like normal clothes like you don't have to wear a uniform um and yeah um in terms of like how the school is set up, usually year 9 and 10 is considered like the junior years and then your senior years will be 11, 12 and 13. So when you're a junior, you're kind of like, <laughs> I guess not as high up, but yeah, so you, you'll study like a lot of subjects um, and you usually have to do like the four core subjects, which is like maths, English, social studies and science, but then... Um, it's not really counted like towards a qualification so I mean it's like not that it's not important but um, your senior years are what matter the most so when you're in year 11 you start what's called NCEA and that's basically like the qualification that you get or like the high school diploma but um, it's in three levels so you do level one when you're year 11 and then level, <laughs> level two when you're year 12 and then level three in your last year so yeah, um, that's just kind of like how the qualification thing works and it's based on internals and externals. So during the year you have like assessments and then you have exams as well at the end of the year. So yeah, it's kind of like um, a whole, like a holistic marking thing. So during the year, like often people get enough credits that they don't actually need the exams. Like they still do them, but they have enough points to pass like the year. Um, without the external exams so yeah I don't know I guess it's a pro and a con for a lot of people but I feel like it's good because then like not everything is based on the end of year mark so you can get points throughout the year as well and yeah in terms of like actual school life usually um, school starts about 8 30 and then finishes at 3 ish like 10 past 3 maybe and you have school Monday to Friday. I know, like, <laughs> that's kind of obvious, but I'm pretty sure in, like, Italy, you have school on Saturdays as well. So, yeah, I'm just clearing it up. It's just Monday to Friday, so don't need to worry about that. And then, um, like, your actual daily schedule is, like, usually five periods a day. Obviously, okay, everything I say is kind of, like, based on my experience and my own school, but for the most part, it's pretty similar around New Zealand. Yeah, so five periods a day, you have, like, usually two periods um, and then like a morning tea break which is like 20 minutes and then another period and then lunch which is like an hour and then two more periods so yeah that's how the school day works um, and in terms of your subjects when you're in year 9 and 10 you don't really get to choose like you choose your options but you have to do the four main subjects and then when you're in year 12 and 13 that's when you kind of like specialize and not not really but you get like a lot of options so you can kind of choose your own curriculum so the only compulsory subject in year 12 is English and then in your last year of school you can do whatever you want like there's literally nothing that no compulsory subject so you could literally take like art, photography, design, hospitality and PE, I don't know but yeah it's it's very like sort of not like set up um, like not a rigid setup so you can kind of choose your own curriculum I guess um, and yeah and then um, I want to talk about like co-curriculars so 
for uh, most schools, you have like a range of sports to choose from, and then there's also a lot of other things like uh, like clubs and different like in music instruments, dance. I don't know, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of co-curriculars, um, so that's really good. So definitely get involved if you come to New Zealand, and then there's like a ball as well usually. So in year twelve and thirteen, so your last two years, you can go to like this ball, which is I guess the equivalent of like prom. Yeah, I think prom, and then in your last year, you also have like a graduation. I mean, it's not really like a proper American graduation where you wear those robes and stuff, but it's just kind of like a dinner thing that you go to. And yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. Um, I think I've covered most of it. I mean, this is just like a general, very general video information um, wise, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.